Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. This time I'm doing a video response to uh, to a YouTuber who I haven't actually been subscribed to for very long. Really great YouTuber, goes by the name of um, Phoenix. Or is that is it pronounced Phoenix because the uh, I and the X is separate as if to form a Roman numeral? But I'm going to call I'm going to call her Phoenix. Uh, she's from Holland and um, really great YouTuber does pickup videos and also does some great gameplay videos as well. Um, the last few uh, gameplay vids she did was of um, uh, some hacked uh, hacked Super Mario Brothers, which I thought was really cool. Being able to it was one of those um, those hacked games where you could sort of play as different Nintendo characters in Super Mario Brothers. It's really weird. Um, definitely check check her check her out, guys. Um, she's an excellent YouTuber. But moving on, yes. So she what she did, she made a video where she put together a list of questions, all gaming related questions, and she sort of went along, she answered all the questions herself, and then she basically put it out there for the community to take those questions and uh, because she'd want to know what our responses are to those very same questions. So this is a video response to her, and uh, of course, you know, guys feel free to get involved as well, but um, if you do, guys, please uh, leave. Uh, Respond, please respond to her video and not mine because she is the originator. And uh, of course, you know, please subscribe to her because she's a really, really good YouTuber and um, yeah, she's great. But I'm going to move on to the the um, the list now. So uh, let's get started with this first one. We've got uh, 20 questions here. So um, the first one is the last game I've played. Um, well, I can say the last game. Well. The last game I'm, at the moment that I'm currently playing is um, Mimana Ayar Chronicles. Uh, this is going to be my first. This is my first proper uh, foray into the RPG genre. I have dabbled with RPGs before, but uh, this is the one that I'm sort of giving a really good go at. So this is actually the current game and I suppose last game that I've played. Let's see. What game world would you rather live in? Hmm. Let's see. Um, there's so many to choose from. Um, I guess. Uh, there's so many, but I, I, I'm gonna go for an, an obvious one. But I'm gonna have to say the Mushroom Kingdom from Super Mario Brothers. And the reason why is because you can go around and you can stomp on other people's heads. And it's encouraged. They encourage you to stomp on people's heads. So that's where I'd like to live. I'd like to live in the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> oh dear. No, I don't go around stomping on people's heads. I, I don't enjoy that. Um, but <laughs> yeah, the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Uh, the third question. What character would you like to be? Hmm. And that is another tough one. There's so many cool characters. I suppose I would like to be... Uh, Dante from Devil May Cry. Or Solid Snake. Either one, because they're both badass. They can kick ass and um, yeah they do it with style so I would be, be either between uh, Dante from Devil May Cry or uh, Solid Snake from Metal Gear Solid uh, next question um, first console I've ever played that will be the NES um, that was the first proper console I ever played before that um, I used to play with um, the Nintendo Game and Watches, the, the handhelds, and um, I dabbled on a few sort of home computers as well, but I, I don't remember the names. But the first console I ever played was also the first console I ever owned, and that was the NES. Um, absolutely loved that console. First game I ever played on it was Super Mario Brothers, but that was, that was also happened to be the first game I ever completed. Um, so yeah, that was the first one. And uh, console with the best childhood memories. Again, following on, that would have to be the NES. 
Um, while a lot of people know me mainly as uh, a big fan of, of the 16-bit systems, and don't get me wrong, I have a lot of great childhood memories of uh, the Mega Drive, which is what I grew up with, and the Super Nintendo, um, I would definitely have to say the NES, uh, simply because that was the console that actually officially got me into gaming. It was the console that I discovered Super Mario Brothers. It was the console that I completed my first game on. Um, and uh, it just made me fall in love with Nintendo. And there's just the whole, um, just gaming in general. It just a lot, a lot of positive memories for that system. I mean, I'm very nostalgic for the system, but I don't pick up for it. Um, it's just, uh, I don't know, it's just, it just seems like a very daunting task to pick up for the NES. Because um, right now I'm sort of picking up for the Super Nintendo and all my games I'm going for are boxed and complete. And that to me is, 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 is tough enough. Um, and before that I was seriously collecting for the Mega Drive, which I've more or less achieved in terms of all the games I wanted to get. So that's why I'm moving on to the Super Nintendo. But the NES, um, yeah, I, just, I don't know, maybe in the future, who knows. Moving on, favourite multiplayer game. Okay, I'm going to split this into two answers because we have to go retro and then we have to go current gen. Um, Retro-wise, it's Streets of Rage 2, without a doubt. Streets of Rage 2 on the Mega Drive is still um, my favourite multiplayer game. I still play it with my friends to this day. Um, I love it. I love playing with my friends. So, yeah, that's that. And... Um, for the current gen, uh, I would have to say Streets of Rage 2 on the PlayStation Network. No. <laughs> that would have been a trick question. No. Uh, ignore that answer. Um, modern day multiplayer. Um, I'm probably going to have to say all the one-on-one uh, -on -one fighters. Uh, I can't really pinpoint any. Uh, but I guess I'm going to, just just for the sake of argument, I'm going to say Street Fighter 4. Because I do love playing Street Fighter 4 online. Um, and I've played other fighters as well online. But I, that's probably the one that I've played the most online. I like playing one-on-one -on -one fighters online. But I still think that nothing beats having a friend beside you and playing with you. And seeing the look on their face when you kick their ass. Um, so yeah, I'd probably say just all the all the one on one fighters, but Street Fighter Four in, in particular. Um, my favorite console currently. That's well, it's it's a PS3. Uh, I'm a PS3 man. Um, all you Xbox fanboys don't hate me, but I've just never been a fan of of the Xbox brand. It's just because of the games. Uh, the, the games on the Xbox have just never. There's never been enough games on this on the Xbox that have made me want to pick up the console. Um, that's not saying that there aren't any good games on the Xbox, because there are, but just uh, not enough to, to make me want to pick up an Xbox. Because you have to understand that I've, I've, been, I've been, been into Sony consoles since, since I purchased the PlayStation 1 back in uh, 95. So um, I, I felt no need to sort of go to a new company because I've been happy with the PlayStation and I've been happy with the PlayStation 2. So... The PlayStation 3 was pretty much a no-brainer for me. Um, what character would you most likely date in real life? Uh, <laughs> um, I'm going to come off really perverted here, but fuck it, I don't care. Um, I'm going to have to say Chung Lee. Um, because of that dress. And she can kick your ass. I like a strong woman. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, yes, I'm probably going to have to say Chung Lee, because she's hot, she's hot, she pulls off them tights, and um, yeah, she's a strong woman, I like that, I like, that. I like, I like strong women, I like, uh, I like a woman that can carry herself, and, um, and she's sexy, and I have to say, I have to say, when, uh, when women cosplay as Chung Lee, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Moving on. Um, favorite character's outfit. Uh, like specifically for myself, not in general. Um, easily going to have to be uh, Solid Snake's suit. I love his camouflage suit. His, I love that suit. Um, it's 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 one of my favorite fictional uh, items. Like that, the clothes 
the the the, the, the big body suit that Solid, Solid Snake wears. I love that suit. Um, uh, I would love to to get like a. I love the cosplay in that suit. Um, but if it existed in real life, I'd love to have it with the camo and everything. Awesome. Um, let's see. Favorite vehicle. Hmm. I don't know. Favorite vehicle. Hmm. Um. I guess it would probably. Uh, it would probably be have to be like one of the. Um, uh, I know, uh, the game. No wait. Um, yes, uh, like a mech suit. I would love to to be able to have my own mech suit. Um, pick a game really. Um, Cybernator for the Super Nintendo. I'd love to have, like, be able to control. That's a vehicle. I don't care. It's a vehicle. Uh, um, let's see. Uh, oh no, the car from Spy Hunter. You know the um, that series of uh, PlayStation Two games. I don't know if it came out on the Xbox as well. It's it's like a Chase HQ type game where you're racing around and the and the car sort of turns into a boat and a and the plane and all, all that. I'd love to have that car. Yeah, the car from Spy Hunter, definitely. Um, favorite soundtrack? A lot. Uh, it's probably gonna have to be between the soundtrack to Streets of Rage 2 and just the soundtrack to Castlevania. I love the Castlevania soundtrack. I know there's there's different soundtracks to the Castlevania series. I'm just I'm not really talking about Castlevania One. I'm just saying Castlevania in general, uh, spanning all the games. I love all the tunes like Bloody Tears, um, like all of those tracks uh, from the Castlevania. I love the soundtrack. I listen to it actually quite regularly. And also uh, the soundtrack to Streets of Rage 2. Um, the, the name of the composer that made that track escapes me at the moment. But he's done lots of uh, scores for a lot of games. And uh, I really do love the soundtrack to Streets of Rage 2. It's, it's, it's one of my favourites. Uh, I'm not even. I, I'm not even into like game soundtracks. Like I don't go around buying, buying soundtracks to games. But um, if if I could buy them, I do have them on my computer. But if I could buy physical copies of a game soundtracks, it would definitely be to, uh, Castlevania and uh, and Streets of Rage Two. So yeah, I can't pick between the two. Uh, moving on, what game have you played the most? Like multiple times. Gonna have to go back to Streets of Rage 2 on this one. Um, I know, I know I keep bringing it up, but it's my favourite game of all time. I absolutely love it. Uh, I've played that game to death. I am so good at that game. Not even to boast, but I, I can complete that game in my sleep in hard mode. Like, I'm just very good at it. I've just, I've played it for 20 years and I love it. I, I never get bored of it. I play it on the PlayStation 3. I play it on emulator, I play it on my Mega Drive app, anywhere I can play it, I play it. It's, it's just my favourite game, I never get bored of it. So, yeah, that's the game that I play all the time. I mean, I can, I, I, I obviously play lots of games, but that's the one I always go back to. Uh, let's see. Do you swear during gaming? Fuck yes, I do. I swear a lot. And... Um, <laughs> And uh, I really, really swear when I'm playing a lot of 16-bit games because they're so fucking hard. Uh, you don't ever want to hear me swearing. Um, uh, you know, you should, I just, just, just say you don't ever want to see me playing any of the Super Star Wars games on the Super Nintendo because I swear a lot. Those games really vex me. I love them, but they really piss me off. Uh, moving on. Um, uh, and do you throw your controller? Uh, not now. Uh, since uh, as an as an older man, uh, no, I don't throw my controllers because I'm aware of their value and controllers are very expensive. Uh, but when I was a kid during the 8-bit and 16-bit era, I did used to throw my pads quite a few times. In fact, I recall a certain time 
when I used to play, um, I was playing Road Rash 2 on the Mega Drive with a friend of mine, two player, and uh, we used to race each other, and just before the race would start, like, he would just punch me off my bike, and I could never get, I could never top, I could never get out of it, he'd always, like, just knock me off my bike, and he used to frustrate me, and I remember just throwing the, the pad, and it sort of, like, pulled the, the console to the side, and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wasn't proud of that moment, but yes, uh, when I was a kid, definitely. But as an older, as an older gamer, uh, definitely not. Um, I, I just sort of vent my frustration with the swear words. Okay, um, favorite genre? Pick one. Okay, um, that's a hard one because technically, my favorite genre doesn't exist anymore. Uh, they don't really make them like they did. Um, my favourite genre was the 2D side-scrolling beat-em-up. Which is kind of making a little bit of a comeback. Because there's that new game coming out now on the current systems. Uh, called uh, Dragon Dragon's Crown. Which is very much a 2D side-scrolling beat-em-up. Um, but yeah, that is my favourite genre. I, I used to play it a lot during the early 90s in arcades. Games like uh, Final Fight. Uh, the Capcom produced Aliens vs Predator, um, The Punisher, uh, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, the Streets of Rage series obviously, um, Batman Returns on the Super Nintendo, uh, all the Teenage Mutant uh, Ninja Turtles games uh, from, from the late 80s uh, right through to the Super Nintendo. Um, I suppose the modern day equivalent to that would be the Hack and Slash games like uh, like Devil May Cry and uh, the God of War series, um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much my 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 favourite. But um, uh, another favourite of mine, if I was to sort of incorporate today, uh, would have to be the uh, third person action adventure game. Like I really do enjoy games like the Uncharted series and um, and the latest Tomb Raider game. Like I love games like that. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. But she asked to pick one. The 2D side scrolling beat em up. That's what I love. Uh, favorite bad guy. Ooh. Let's see here. Favorite bad guy. I've got to give it to him, Bison. I really like him, Bison, from the Street Fighter series. Um, if I was to ever cosplay and it wasn't Solid Snake, it would definitely be M. Bison. I love M. Bison. He's just. He's just got that, that typical dictator look to him. And I love playing as him. Like when you actually play as M. Bison in any of the Street Fighter games, you actually feel evil because you can spam his moves and just watch people die. Like his Psycho Crusher where he sort of dives at you. I used to spam that move to no end. I mean in the game since they've sort of toned back that move so you can't spam it as much. But in the earlier games it was just a lot of fun. So I, I, yeah, M. Bison. Just like stereotypical dictator, I love it. Um, let's see. Favorite weapon? What would you use? Um, I don't know. Uh, uh, favorite weapon? Favorite weapon? You know what? I'm gonna say the vampire killer, the whip from Castlevania, or from the latest game, Lords of Shadow. I really like that whip. Um, I know it, so many other better things I could have chosen, nah, but that's probably what comes to mind. Uh, no, wait, no. Dante's sword, the, the big, the big sword that Dante has. I would love to have that sword because um, it sticks with him and all the powers that comes with it. Like basically all of Dante's powers. I would love to have that. Um, Five games to take with you on vacation or to a deserted island. Well, let's see. Streets Rage 2, obviously. Um, any any version of Street Fighter 2. Um, preferably the faster ones with the new characters. So Super Street Fighter 2, any of those sort of games. I love, I love the Street Fighter series. Um, third game. Probably Super Mario Brothers 3. Um, yeah, Super Mario Brothers 3. Um, 
fourth game, Uncharted 2. I love that game. And the fifth game would probably have to be, um, let me think. It would have to be a run and gun shooter because I love those. So I'm probably going to have to say uh, Super Probotector. Uh, also known in the US as Contra 3. Yeah, I love that game. So yeah, those would be my five games. And uh, let's see here. Okay, now the last question, there's two more questions, but the last question is a bit of a downer. So I'm going to say that I'm going to answer the last question and then, because I want to end it on a positive note. So the, the last, what, the very last question on here was, worst game I've ever played? This is actually quite a hard one because I've played a lot of shit games. Um, but I'm going to have to say the one that sticks out to me the most. And that's not to say that I think this is the worst game because there have been so many shit games. But I just, the reason I'm going to bring this one up is because I just remember how I felt when I played it for the first time. And I was just really, I just hated it. I just hated it. And the game is um, uh, Mortal Kombat Mythologies Sub-Zero. Now, I know I'm probably going to get a lot of hate from uh, YouTuber the Ryan Shan because I know he loves that game. Sorry, Ryan, but I, I, I hate that game. I played it on the PlayStation 1. A friend of mine, a friend of mine, he, um, he brought it over to my house. And uh, what they'd basically done, it was sort of like a, an action platform game where you play the Sub-Zero. It's like a 2D one. And it still used like digitized sprites, if I remember correctly. But the gameplay was horrible. It was full of cheap deaths, uh, uh, non-existent platforms where you have to do a lot of leap of fades. Just a terribly made game. I really hated that one. I remember as a kid, just I hated it. Really hated it. Um, saying that though, I don't know if that's the worst game I've ever played, but it's just the, the one that comes to mind. So I'm going to have to go with uh, Mortal Kombat Mythologies Sub-Zero on the PlayStation 1. Um, and the last game is the game with the best childhood memories. Well, I sort of covered this already, but I'm going to have to say Super Mario Brothers um, because it was the first proper console game that I played. I remember being so excited playing that game. I, I, when my mum first got me the NES, it was the first console I ever owned. It was the game that came bundled with it. And um, I played it to death until I completed it. And I was so happy with myself. Um, I was a 10 year old kid and I was I was really happy with myself that I'd completed the game. Um, you know, and I went on to, to complete the others as well. I, I also, because I never owned Super Mario Brothers 2, a friend of mine owned that and I, I completed that. And I went on, I, I picked up Super Mario Brothers 3 and I completed that also. Um, so yeah, Super Mario Brothers, a um, lot of great memories of that game. Um, really did love it. So that is it. Uh, those are my answers to Phoenix's questions. Um, <laughs> uh, it was definitely hard on a few of them. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if I sort of <laughs> might have given, uh, I might have cheated a little bit with some of the answers. But uh, yeah, those are my answers. And um, thank you very much, Phoenix, for making the video. A uh, great video to make. Uh, I'm glad I could do a video response to it. And uh, guys, feel free to make a video response as well, but uh, just please uh, respond to her video and not mine. Um, definitely check her out, guys. She's an awesome YouTuber, very friendly with the community. Um, I hadn't even been subscribed to her very long, but she's made me feel very welcome. And uh, yeah, just a great, great member of the community. Check her out, guys. Uh, make a video response to her video. And uh, that's it. So thank you very much, guys. I will be back very soon uh, with another video. Bye-bye.